Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Grand National Totopoly with me Dave Palmpals. Here we go. Well it's race day and I'm excited. I'm excited to show you this game that I have kind of redeveloped. Uh, where to start? What to tell you about? Well let's uh, look back at what we did. And if you're just finding the video, I would strongly encourage you to, to look back at the previous videos, just, just so you know what's going on. But last video, uh, it was explained that our Abbey Road album could, could not run because they, they drew a card to say that they couldn't. They did draw a card in the run-up to say that they're going to be starting in position two. But I tell you what. To make it more exciting and to make it even more unpredictable and maybe even a benchmark to, to run against, I've included a banker's horse. I've been on a, a random race horse name generator and I've generated the name Ultimate Catastrophe. So this is owned by the bank. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to maybe just roll up two dice. So the, the white dice will be for its advantages and the brown looking dice will be for its uh, its disadvantages. Actually, I tell you what, maybe I should instead roll a d6. Instead of rolling a, a d8, I think maybe maybe a d6 might, might, might be better. Okay, so we'll have the red being its disadvantage and we'll have the, the black being its advantage. We can get, we'll get rid of those. I mean, because can you imagine if he if he rolled an eight? So what we'll do is we'll give it a good a good spin. Okay, three advantages, six disadvantages. So that will bring him to a minus three. Could have been worse. So he's he's not he's not the best runner, but the bank to include the full forty horses in the Grand National has put in ultimate catastrophe with a minus three to take the position that uh, Abbey Road album would have had so it makes it makes it a little bit more unpredictable makes it a little bit more exciting um, of course you can call him whatever you like but I'm yeah I'm calling him ultimate catastrophe he's probably one of the worst horses out there now but uh, we'll see how he does and uh, what we will be doing is we'll be going in a numerical order and uh, and basically rolling 1d8 off off the dice roller here and we'll go three rounds in in, in this uh, video to to basically show you how how they all start uh, I hope you're going to cheer them on and um, yeah so if you imagine they're coming up now. I've got to remind myself where everyone is. I think uh, number number one is on the outside. Yeah. So what we'll do is, if any of, because I mean the middle ones are, are probably going to be in a bit of bother uh, going forward, especially if they're boxed in. But if they can, they'll probably try and get on the outside. Uh, so I've kind of drew, drew this red box here to kind of uh, show you where they would be positioned on the board to start with um, but yeah without further ado let's get on with it um, and here they go for the run up and the steward says it's a good start and they're off goes on four so midnight warrior starting here goes on four one two three four lands there number two samba Goes on four as well. Not a bad start for the blacks. Number three. So where is number three lurking? He is faithful. So what he can do, because he can't sidestep, so faithful is going to run out. He's going to go diagonally and, and come out on, on the fifth row. So faithful goes on one. So he'll be on the fifth. He'll be starting right there on coming out not the best for faithful but oh well uh, but what we'll do is 
we'll put him there. He's probably gonna. It's gonna probably make uh, everyone else's uh, day a little bit worse for wear. But uh, Mr. Chairman, he's blocked in. He can't go, can't go any uh, go anywhere really. Uh, poor old Mr. Chairman. That is the disadvantage of starting at the back. But uh, Charlemagne here, he can, he's starting in this box, but he can go on the outside. He can go around them. He goes on three. So we'll go one, two, three. That brings him out here. So Charlemagne's taking the outside now. Number six, Petticoat Pauper. Where is Petticoat Pauper? He's boxed in. Can't go anywhere. Number seven uh, is Leonidas the fourth. He can't go anywhere because this horse is all around him and it's not like he can go backwards. Horses will only run forwards or diagonally. Uh, so that was number seven. Number eight is also boxed in. Actually, we can still roll for him because if he gets an eight, he can come in and, and go on, on the inside rail. So that's a four. He can't go anywhere. Number nine. Eat my shorts. Coming out on the fourth rail. Right. Goes on two. So one, two, three, four. He's stuck there. One, two. Now, flying start. Move on four spaces. One, two, three, four. Bam. Really good from Eat My Shorts. Getting up there quick. So number ten now. Number ten. Nice day out. He can't go anywhere. Number eleven. Number eleven. Got to remember where they are. Okay. Looking for it to come in on an inside on an eight. Only gets a one. Can't move anywhere. Number twelve. May the horse be with you. He's got a yeah. He's got a clear run. Going out on that fourth fourth rail. Gets a six. One two. Comes out on the fourth. Three, four, five, six. Up with Midnight Warrior and Samba. Okay, so we've got 13. Prince Rupert's Poodle. Gets a three. So he goes one, two, three. Moves on four spaces. One, two, and because two... Uh, Two horses cannot occupy the same space. Three, four. Goes up to towards Eat My Shorts. Number 14. Ultimate Catastrophe. Let's see what he can do. How's he going to come out? He's going to come out on an eight. Oh my goodness. No wonder the bank put him in. So he's going to come out. Go in one. Because he can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this is the problem. Actually, we should really lock those hedges. We need to lock the hedges. It's no good of no good them being unlocked. Oh, they they are locked. Just just not that one. Just not that one. Okay. <laughs> right, so he's landed on a hedge. So he'll fall if he rolls a one. That is the rule for hedges. And that's the risk. Oh, he rolled a one. First. <laughs> the bank is furious. <laughs> Ultimate catastrophe is out on the first feds. My goodness. Oh, dear. 15 now. No time to mourn as we go to paddle boat captain. He rolls a one. So he'll have to come out on the outside right behind Charlemagne. Oh my goodness. Oh, hell of a day at the races. 16 now. 16. I uh, wish you were here. Starting out <coughs> on the outside. Rolls a 6. So he goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Landed in good position there. Good position. Uh, 17. Spirit of Marengo. He can go straight forward. He rolls a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because he's uh, only an orange and not a, uh, a red, he can't take advantage of, of that square. 
So that was uh, number 18 now. Where is number 18? He's got room to move outside. Rolls a 6 also. So 1, 2, gets pushed out to the 4th, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pushes past Spirit of Marengo. It's, it's a bit of a bit of a good break. They're all still in, in the pack by the looks of things. It's going to be an interesting start. Uh, where are we now? Number 19, Crop Duster Kid. He can move out, but he's going to have to come out diagonally a few. He's probably going to... Yeah, rolls the 7, so that will make him... 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, and because he can't move forward, he has to come out again. Seven. He finds himself behind the Midnight Warrior. Not a bad start for the Oranges. Not a bad start at all. Uh, so that was uh, Crop Duster Kid. Number 20, Prince of Orange, can also do the same. Goes on a five. So that brings him to one, two, three. Four, five. The oranges are bunched up, coming just out on on the outside on the fourth and fifth track. Okay, so number twenty-one. Where is green and green on the third track? He's got a clean run by the looks of things. He goes on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ready to jump that hedge. Or the princess goes on a one. Slow start for the Border Princess. Number 23, Gunboat Diplomacy has a clear run. Goes on an 8. Maths lands him on the fence. What's he going to roll? Rolls a 4, so he's fine. He's fine. Pour us a pint now on the inside. Rolls an 8 as well. So... Here we go. So a good start for the greens. But he's landed on the fence. Good jump from Porus a pint. Number 25, gone fishing. Rolls an 8, comes in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My goodness. What a hell of a start for the greens. Whew. Okay, number 26. Where is Madame de Pompadour? She can have a good run on the inside too if she rolls good. One, two, three. Not good enough. Number 27. Shoe Shine Boy. He's got a straight run almost. He can go one, two, three, four, five. Flying start. Oh, no, that was four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, sorry. Number 28. Why the wait? Goes on an eight. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everyone on the inside has that advantage. Number 29. Strawberry shortcake. Oh, gets a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boxed in. Goes back one. Right. Number 30. Early bird catches the worm. Only goes on a one. So he lands just there. 31. Abbey Gate. Where is Abbey Gate? Right. On the fourth rail. It's getting a bit congested on the outside there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who forces him way on the outside for Abbey Gate? Ends up on the sixth rail while starting on the fourth. Oof. He's got some work to do, that Abbey Gate. Knight of the Realm gets on a six. So that'll take him to one, two, Three, four, five, six. Following his running mate. Number 33, play for keeps. A four. 
One, two, three, four. Forced out to the second rail. Right, where have we ended up now? So it is 34. Marion, where's my socks? What's she gonna do? Gets an eight. Wow, good start for Marion, where's my socks? Comes in one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boxed in. Didn't really help him, Marion, where's my socks? Didn't really help him. Okay. Number 35, Card Shark. Number 3, 1, 2, 3. Starts right there. Okie dokie. Now it's time for the Blues. Number 36, King of Spades. Goes on 2, 1, 2. I'll take him there. You're there as well with him. Let's not forget that. Uh, 37. Jerome of the Fen. 4. 1. 2. 3. 4. Jerome of the Fen taking that third rail. All right. Number 38. Goes on three. One. Can't do it. Two. Can't do it either. Forced out on the outside. Three. Whew. Who needs horsepower? Takes the wide outside coming out. Number 39. Peking Duck. Goes on eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. He can still come in. Eight. Good run. Good run from Peking Duck. And then we have number 40, Rocket Man. Goes on eight as well. So he's going to come in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So, because he came in once, he can't come in again. So that is the start. What do you think, people? For that first roll, I think it's worked out well. I think, yeah, you know, they've all all come out of of uh, the starting line pretty well. Obviously, we had a faller, the banker's horse. <laughs> really, shouldn't have bothered, but uh, yeah, not bad, not bad, eh? Not bad for starters. Let's go on to the second round. Okay, this is where we need to remember where everybody is, but we'll get into it. Okay, Midnight Warrior, what's he going to roll? Gets a four. He's going to have to come out. One, two, three, four. Nan's on a hedge. Is it a one? It's an eight. He can jump it. Samba now. Right. Now, I made it a rule that only two, only one horse can be on a fence. So Samba, if he's got a good run, he's going to have to come out to the third spot. You cannot overtake another horse if he's on the fence. That is a special, special rule. So he goes on seven. So he's got one, two, three, four, five six seven right he is a heavyweight so he can go on two lengths one two good by samba Whew. wow we that was a good good little move from samba there right number three five faithful one, two, three, four, five. Boxed in, goes back one space. Oh dearie me. Oh dearie dearie me. For poor old faithful. Where's Mr. Chairman? He's rolled an eight. Mr. Chairman, where are I? Oh, you're back here. Because you were boxed in. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boxed in, goes back one. Although should Peking Duck should have maybe gone back one as well, right? That's that's probably it. Yeah, that makes more sense. So he'll have to, he'll have to land there, and Peking Duck has to go back one as well. Yeah, that that should not affect things too badly. Right, number five. Two. One, two. Flying start, go on four. One, two, three, four. Push to the outside. Number six. Petticoat Pauper goes on four. Where is Petticoat Pauper? He is around here somewhere. One, oh no, he has to come out. One, two, three, four. Flying start. Goes on four. One, two, three, four. Not bad for Petticoat Pauper. Pulled it back there. Number seven. Leonidas goes on four. One, two, three. Ends up right there. Four. Number eight now. The Duke's luck goes on for himself as well. One, two, three, four. Number nine. Two for number nine. Eat my shorts. Ends up on the fence. Does he roll a one? No, nope, he stays up. Number ten. Nice day out. Seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, has to come out. Seven. Okay, number eleven now. Cottage by the sea. Goes on eight. But he's probably doesn't really need to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number 12, goes on one, boxed in, goes back one, oh dear, may the horse be with you, he needs needs a bit more luck than that. 13, where is number 13? 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because this, this is two squares two squares. Right. So yeah, that was right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Fourteen is out. Fifteen. Paddle boat captain. Where are you, sir? He's all the way back out here. He rolled a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Taking the outside. 16 gets an 8. Wish you were here. Wow, that's a good good roll for wish you were here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Middleweights move on 3 lengths. He is a middleweight. Let's not forget that. 1, 2, 3. Jumps the fan like a boss. Number 17, 3, he is boxed in, he cannot run out sideways, he's boxed, he cannot run. Number 18, goes on 4, 1, 2, 3, has to 3 and then 4, jumps the fence. It's a two. Who just clipped the hedge there? The crowd watching. Andy, you're a star. Just clipped the hedge, and the ladies squirm beneath their hats. Number nineteen, crop duster kid. 
goes on five. One, two, three. There is an opening for five. Jumps number one for the fences. Okay, Prince of Orange gets a two. One, two, boxed in, goes back one. Number 21 now. The Greens only get a one. Where is he? 21, green and green, lands on the fence. He's jumped it. Number 22 gets a one. Where is number 22? All the way back here. Only gets a one, but he lands on the flying uh, forward four spaces. One, two, three, four. Gunboat Diplomacy gets a one. Gets him off the fence. Just. Number 24 goes on four. One, two, three, four. Number 25, gone fishing. Gets a four himself. One, two, three, four. He is a middleweight, so he ignores this space. Number 26. Madame de Pompadour gets a four. Where did Madame de Pompadour end up? With a four. Okay, he's going to have to come out. One, two, three, four. Boxed in, goes back one. Terrible. 27. Gets a three. One, two, three. Number 28. Why the wait? Gets a five. One, two, three, four, five. Number 29. Gets a two. Where is 29? One, two. Hardy Bird catches the worm all the way at the back. Gets a three. One, two, three. Number 31. Okay, now we're into the yellows. Abby Gate trying to run a good race here. Gets on a four. One, two, three, four. Lightweights go on four. He is a lightweight. One, two, three, four. We ignore this one because we've already done the uh, the outcome of, of, of this box so this this doesn't matter and it wouldn't even matter anyway because he's he's a lightweight he's not a middleweight so but Abbey Gate comes and takes a, a solid second he's, he's pretty well trained he's got a plus three okay Knight of the Realm only gets a one as he's gearing himself to go up on the fence. Number 33 gets a 7. 1, 2, 3. I do believe, yeah, he's come out down off of there, so I have to move him over a bit. Yeah, that works. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Lightweights go on a 4. Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4. My goodness, my goodness. Play for keeps takes a solid second. It's, it's a good start for the yellows. Good start, good start indeed. Okay, Marion, where's my socks? Gets a two. One, two. Number 35, card shark. Gets a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okie dokie. Right. Number 36. Gets a 1. Where is he? Finally. Finally out of the starting position for King of Spades. Number 37. Is boxed in. He can't go anywhere unless he rolled an 8. Nope. He cannot move. And number 38. Who needs horsepower? All the way at the back. Goes on a four. One, two, three, four. Number 39. Peking Duck gets an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Not bad for Peking Duck. And Rocket Man gets an 8 as well. Oh my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He's a middleweight, so he ignores it. My goodness, so that is round 2. We're starting to get a front pack. Just breaking away, jumping the first fence fine, but still half of horses in the back have to jump. Who's going to make it? Who's not? Round three now. Here we go. Midnight Warrior. A five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what we'll have to do is... Okay, he's going to land there. Let's get... Um, change the color. Uh, where is it? Is it scale? Is it uh, move? There it is. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way too. Yeah, my goodness. Okay. Just while we get the secret zones for players out of the way of the track. Okay, that's not in the way, is it? But we can just put that there. Okay. So he was what there? Yeah, that 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 looks about right. What did he roll? He rolled a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, Midnight Warrior. Or was he on the fence? I think he was on the fence, wasn't he? So I think it's the next one. Right, Midnight Warrior got a five. Samba gets a one. Slowing down. Poor bugger. Faithful. Goes on five. Where is he? One, two, three, four, five. Jumps it. And before the chairman gets a two. One, two. Charlemagne on the outside. Gets a five. One, two, three, four, five. Heavyweights move on two lengths. One, two. Up it with the uh, Midnight Warrior. Okie dokie. Uh, go on to Petticoat Pauper, number six. Gets a seven. But he can't do it, can he? One, two. No, I can't do it. Boxed. He's boxed. He cannot move. He can just just go at one, and that is it. Because he cannot go one, two. Because someone's on the fence, so he cannot do it. Poor old Petty Coat Pauper boxed in. Seven gets a two. One, two. Finds himself on a red. Okay, what is he? He's a zero, so he can go on seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is the benefit of landing on your color. So Leonidas the fourth runs, finds a an opening on the outside. Number eight. Gets an eight. Where is he? So he comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is a heavyweight, so he can move on two. One, two. Not bad for the Duke's luck. Number nine, eat my shorts, so I think he's on the fence. Goes on three. Right. One, two, three. Goes on another two. One, two. Number ten. Gets a one. Here is number ten. Doesn't move anywhere. Cottage by the sea, number eleven. Goes on one. Where is Cottage by the sea? Where is Cottage by the sea? He's a white pup. Uh, ah, there he is. Ends up on the fence with the one. 
Rolls a four, he jumps. Jumps it fine. Number twelve. May the horse be with you. Gets a one, doesn't move anywhere. Number thirteen. Gets a seven for Prince Rupert's Poodle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To take first place. Okay, 14 now is out. 15. Paddle boat captain. Where are you, paddle boat captain? You've just rolled a seven. He's out here. There he is. One, two, three, four, five. Cannot move. He's boxed in by the two up the front. But it's not a bad move from paddle boat captain. 16. Wish you were here. Goes on two. One, two. To go level with Prince Rupert's Poodle. Number 17. Gets a five. Where is he? There he is. One, two, three, four. Tries to jump it. Five. Lands on the fence, gets a three. He's fine. For now. Number 18, Andy, you're a star. Uh, where is he? He's on the fence. Gets a three. One, two, three. He ignores it because he's a middleweight. Number 19. Crop Duster Kid gets a two. One, two. Prince of Orange gets a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the oranges coming up to meet each other in the middle of the field. Number 21. Where is he? Green and green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lands. On the fence that I thought was locked. It is supposed to be. But he's collided with it somehow. And rattled the fence. Okay. Collision boxes are. A bit weird. Yeah. Okay. Something's up with that collision box on that fence. But he's, he's, he's there in any case. On the second. If he rolls a one. He's a faller. Gets a three. What is up with this? Should be locked. There we go. Something weird with that. Okay, number 22. There is he. Border Princess. Gets a four. One, two, three, four. It's a middleweight, so you won't move anywhere. Number 23. Gunboat Diplomacy. It's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is room for you to be there. There he is. Pour us a pint. Goes on a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gone fishing. Number 25 goes on a two. One, two. Swap them around. Madame de Pompadour goes on a five. One, two, three, four, five. Jumps the first fence at last. Number 27. Shushine Boy. One, two. Number 28. By the way. That's it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-nine. Strawberry shortcake. Three. One, two, three. Jumps the fence. Fine. Early bird catches the worm. Two. One, two. Goes back one. Terrible. Terrible start for early bird catches the worm. Okay, now we go on to 31. Abbey Gate. Can you stay with the pack? One, two, three. Number 32, Knight of the Realm. Gets a one. Tries to jump on the outside. 
Gets himself a four. That's not bad for Knight of the Realm, but he has blocked in Marion. Where's my socks and card shark? <laughs> Play for keeps. What's he gonna get? A five. One, two, three, four, five. He now takes the lead. Marion, where's my socks? Needs an eight. Does not get it. Card Shark needs an eight. Does not get it. Uh, just, just keep him on the same rail. Let's not be cruel. Thirty-six. King Spades right at the back. Gets an eight. Right. He needs it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jumps the first hurdle like a boss and comes in as well. Number 37, Jerome of the Fen. What does he get? He gets himself a six. But he cannot come in, so he has to go out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lands right behind. King of Spades. Okay, number 38. Who needs horsepower? Gets himself a three. One, two, three. Number 39. Two. One, two. But he is not a lightweight. He's a, he's a middle... Yeah, he's a lightweight, so he can't take advantage of that middleweight uh, advantage. And then we go on to the last horse. Rocket Man. Gets a three. Has to come out because of the fence. One, two, three. Jumps it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I believe, I believe is, is three rounds. Shall we go one more? We'll go one more. Okay. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll go one more. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Back to number one. Goes on six. Where is he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Number two, Samba. Gets himself an eight. My goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there any stopping this horse? My goodness. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Right. Number three, Faithful. Gets himself a five. Back here. One, two, three, four, five. He's a, he's a heavyweight, so he ignores that. Four. One, two, three, four, five, four. Heavyweights go on two. One, two. Poor old Mr. Chairman lingering near enough the back. Charlemagne gets himself a one. Doesn't do himself any favours either. Number six, Petticoat Pauper. Gets himself an eight. There is Petticoat Pauper. Right, has to come in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready to jump the fan now. Number seven, Leonidas. Gets himself a seven. Wow! Good run from Leonidas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Staying up near the pack. Doesn't want to be left behind. Number eight. Four. One, two, three, four. Number nine. Eat my shorts. Gets a two. One, two. Ready to jump the fan. Number ten. Nice day out. Where is he? All the way back. <laughs> He's rolled a one again. He's boxed in. Oh dear. Number 11. Cottage by the sea gets himself an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tries to jump the fan. Gets himself a one. Cottage by the sea is out. My goodness. The Whites have had a terrible run. They've lost a horse on every fence that's been jumped so far. 
the crowd are tearing up their tickets as they see the plus two horse go down on the fan. Twelve. May the horse be with you. Goes on a seven. Where is he? Uh, all the way back there on a seven. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In himself right behind the oranges trying to stay with the pack. Prince Rupert's Poodle though is having a different uh, string of luck here as he rolls himself a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nicely jumped over the third fence. Nice to see the third fence not taking another white. 14 is dead. 15 paddleboat captain goes on an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pass the next horse if no more than 6 lengths ahead. So the next horse in front is Samba. So he ends up right there. So the whites have taken advantage of the chaos and the calamity. Luck has put them out near the front. So let's uh, wish you were here now. Goes on a seven, continues his good run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventeen. Gets a four. Tries to stay with the pack. One, two, three, four, Seven for number eighteen, and you're a star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number nineteen, crop dots the kid, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's an orange, so he doesn't take advantage of the red. Uh, that was yeah, crop dots the kid. Prince of Orange goes on a four. One, two, three, four. Ends up behind Eat My Shorts. Number 21. The Greens. Having a bit of a mixed a mixed start here. Where is number 21? There he is. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a six, yeah. Number 22. Gets a five. One, two, three, four, five. Gunboat diplomacy. What's he going to end up having? A three. One, two, three. Number 24 goes on four. One, two, three, four. Number 25 gone fishing also gets a four. One, two, three, four. Ends up on the fan. Is he going to be coming a cropper? No, he's fine. Whew, just a uh, bit of a bit of a funny jump, but he makes it over. Twenty-six. Madame de Pompadour goes on a one. They're a middleweight, so they do not take advantage of this square. Number twenty-seven, Shoeshine Boy goes on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number 28, why the wait? Gives himself a 1. But lands right where he needs to be because he needs to pass the next horse. So the next horse is these guys. So <whistles> gets himself level. Number 29, strawberry shortcake. Gets himself a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Middle weights go on 3 lengths. 1, 2, 3. Doesn't want to be left out of contention, old strawberry shortcake. Goes on a four. Furley bird catches the worm. One, two, three, four. Ends up on the first fence. Gets himself an eight. Jumps it perfectly. Nothing to worry about for early bird catches the worm. But here we go. So, Abbey Gate. Going to use an advantage. Takes him down. So 
to plus two with one used. So moves him on two, and then he can roll because he wants to stay with the pack. So gets himself a five. One, two, three, four, five. Bit too greedy potentially for, but that should they should all be locked. Right. There he is. Are you locked as well? You're not. I thought I locked them. I thought I locked them all. Maybe I lock, unlocked these guys. Yeah, looks like I did. So he lands on the fence. And it's a seven. He's fine. Whew, number 32. Knight of the Realm near enough the back with a four. One, two, three, four. Number 33 gives himself a five. One, two, three, four, five. Number 34, Marion, where's my socks? Finally gets a good roll. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. He's a lightweight, so he cannot take advantage of that, but he's trying to stay in with the middle of the pack. Card Shark gets himself a one. What's he going to get now? It's a four. Okay. King of Spades gets himself an eight. Doesn't want to be left out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Staying with the pack. Number 37, Jerome with the Fen, goes on a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number 38, who needs horsepower, gives himself a three. One, two, three, lightweights go on four. One, two, three, four. Number 39. Peking Duck gets himself a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Opportunity to pass the next horse in front. He can do it, but he's going to have to come out on the outside in order to do so. Peking Duck does not want to be left out of this race. But what is Rocket Man for the final throw? Gets himself a 2. 1, 2. So, that is it. That is it for this video. And we're making our way down the first stretch. I should mention that I'm probably only going to do one lap. I know the Grand National is 2. But if I did that, then we'd be here all day. Um, but here we go. Out in front, Wish You Were Here, followed by a length by Prince Rupert's Poodle and Play For Keeps. Close behind him in fourth and joined fifth is Abby Gate, Paddleboat Captain, Peking Duck and Why The Wait. Samba, who is the favourite, is currently in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight place now. People are still waiting for him to make a move with his plus one. We'll give him an extra dice. And then closely behind him, the greens pour us a pint and greener than green. Going further back a couple of lengths, it's Midnight Warrior, Crop Duster Kid, and Rocket Man. A length behind them, Andy You're a Star and number twenty three, Gumbo Diplomacy. On the outside, Leonidas the fourth but moving in on the center, it's number 36, King of Spades, The Duke's Luck, and Strawberry Shortcake. Behind him, a length is Gone Fishing, and a length behind them is number 22, Border Princess, Jerome of the Fen, Prince of Orange, Eat My Shorts, and Pedigo Pauper. Another length, Charlemagne, Faithful, Marion wears my socks, 
and who needs horsepower on the outside and bring it up near the rear going to the back of the pack it's Knight of the Realm Spirit of Marengo Shoeshine Boy and surprise surprise Mr. Chairman May the horse be with you has not been running a good race so far but the crowd is expecting him to make some miracles he'll need the force to pull through Madame de Pompadour is next a length behind him and just passing the first fence still is Karchak an early bird catches the worm and in last place it's nice day out so that is your runners on the break we'll see you on the next one as they pass the first turn and come down towards Beecher's Brook I hope you enjoyed it ladies and gentlemen if you did give it a thumbs up it always helps We'll see you on the next one.